I'll be right back. I'm getting ready to jump over all your bullets. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'ma hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. So, uh, Tyler, why is there no desk in your office? It's a great question. To you. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I heard that we're filming a new Sales Wolves podcast intro, and then we're actually doing the Sales Wolves podcast from the middle of the woods. <laughs> so we'll see. I really am not quite sure what's happening right now. But I just go with the flow. That's all. I just needed to get some footage of it. <laughs> So Ricky, Ricky can probably explain oh, best what's going on right now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do an intro for the Sales podcast, a new one, something super dope. Just walking through the woods. Uh, uh, we're just gonna get a bunch of cool shots and everything with that. We were gonna have a wolf, um, but I was able to <laughs> find a husky. We're still gonna do the wolf. Maybe, maybe <laughs> we got <later>. a husky. <laughs> maybe later we'll be able to do the, the wolf. It's just, I'm gonna get them to run like a little bit. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, no, no, I'm yeah. just, I'm, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting concept. What the hell is this? That's crazy. That's a home, and it's not crazy. It's just not in California. That's it's like a, anything it's a that's not in California. It's, it's a crazy. It's a lot of us. It's a great vine, but don't touch the ones with five leaves because that's poison ivy. Mm -hmm. right, and right. that stuff will light so, you up. So they're <laughs> just running through? Or? So yeah, they're all tight shots, running through, and then uh, feet, feet in the leaves, like step. You need uh, I, 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 I do want to get like, uh, I do want to get them like eyes, like, we're going to get like, like, about a kill. You're going to do some shots like, you know, like, camera on the other side and they kind of like look like they're looking for prey kind of No, it's all, it's all or? fast motion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. just moving. So we, we need to find a spot for them to do short runs in without having to look find down. Or, find or create. Yeah, or just move stuff out of the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right there. See, this is why I need a monitor, because I can't see anything. Well, you got it. It's on the way. Oh, yeah, no. But that, that was just explaining. Dude, yeah. I approved it. Blame Thank Ricky. You. He hadn't got it. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, I would. Okay. Um, what are we doing on this one? So with this one... If Ricky really believed, he'd have bought it with his own money and asked for reimbursement. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get... I want to, I want Tyler. Tyler, you're going to just want to run from... from point A to point... to point Ricky. Mm -hmm. Action. Oh. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Make him feel like he's on the football field. 
good. Oh, that looks so fucking cool. I, I can do that. You, this, you want to this? see this one? This yeah, one? yeah, we can do this. This one looks good. Yeah, this one's cleaner. Slower, cleaner. I wash my back a little. Dude, this is going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're excited to catch this. Warmed up to do this. I'll rip something right out. Into the mud if you have to. Make sure you wear the white shoes. Somebody hold this real quick. Thank you. A little runway. Cleared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here just in case you need like ah, I'm coming to you, baby. Got the Black Panther waiting for you on the other side just in Black case. Black Panther never drops anybody. I, I don't freeze. What if you should nail that one like this? Stop and defeat me. Mondays. <laughs> I don't have a lot of wisdom here, except here, I'll that give you one. I shouldn't um, fall. Like, you ever see that Steve Harvey video where he talks about jump? <laughs> oh, yeah. just, you just, just got a jump. jump. <laughs> Talk about why people hate Mondays and why you shouldn't hate Mondays. That doesn't even compute with me why you would hate a Monday. The only reason you would hate a Monday is if you literally hate what you do. And why would you spend time on this earth doing what you hate? I, I can't comprehend it. I can't comprehend why anybody would choose to do something they hate for 40 years so they can get to a point where they can retire and do what they love when they have nothing left after they've spent it all doing what they hate. Can't comprehend it. Can I get you saying, let me jump all, I'll be back, I'm gonna jump over all your bur bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you about to jump over all your I'll be right back, I'm getting ready to jump over all your bullshit. <laughs> pressure washing business with Nathan. So I'd leave banking at like 4.35. Mm -hmm. I would go home, grab a bite to eat. I would I would actually leave there and go build a network marketing business from about six until 11 to two in the morning sometime. And then I would go grab the pressure washing equipment and go to a car lot from anywhere, depending on when I got done with the network marketing thing from midnight to, to or from midnight or two until like four, five, six in the morning. And I would come back and I remember crawling into the bathtub, like you can't even sleep at that point because it's, I had to like take a shower and get ready and go and do it again. And I remember sitting in the bathtub and my wife coming in one time and, and she was like, don't you ever just want normal? <laughs> and, and I was like, I was sitting there and my hands were shaking, dude. When, if you've ever done pressure washing stuff, man, my hands were, I mean, they're still, look how rough they are, how nasty they are. I hadn't done that in years. They yeah, feel like, like working out. And, uh, but, uh, but I, uh, I remember sitting there and I was shaking. And when she said that, I was like, normal? I fucking hate normal. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to be normal. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to find is people on this earth that don't want to be normal. And Tyler's not normal. Luigi's not normal. TJ's not normal. Man, Ricky, Ricky. he's nothing, nothing close to normal. And, uh, and so it really, I equate normal with average. And none of us mm. want to be that way. We want to live a life that's way above that. I oh, know, I killed it. Well, it. All right, ready? We're rolling in five. You were about to flick that son of a landed on my face. Two. What is up, everybody? This is episode 55 of the Sales Wolves podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris. I am your host, <laughs> Joseph Caldwell. <laughs> and we are the Sales Wolves. Oh. 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 Woo. Yeah. Man, that just felt right. That does feel better out no here. No idea why. I don't either. All right, did guys. Did you hear the way that sounded? I did. That felt good. It's almost like we tapped into our inner savage. It is almost like we connected with the inner wolf. 
That is the topic of today's podcast. It is connecting with your inner wolf, your inner savage, whatever you want to call your it. Your emotional center. Absolutely. And so we're just going to jump right into it. Friend. 